Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to the Wild Age. I'm not gonna lie, this game is pretty much just Kingdom. Uh, Kingdom New, New Lands, Kingdom Two Crowns, Kingdom whatever. Uh, and it looks like it's got a bit of a Journey-style soundtrack, so we'll see how it actually goes. Sometimes, you know, aping off of other, other ideas can actually work out really, really well. Or, you know, it could actually be a lot more unique than I thought. I thought? I don't know. Uh, hello. But basic impressions from what I could see uh, online was this game just straight up looks like uh, Kingdom, but, you know, in a, in a 3D environment. Okay, so wizard, druid. Druid? Oh, yeah. King, queen, knight, or knight. Well, I guess I'm stuck with this. At least the low poly visuals actually look pretty swank. Uh, let's see. What colorations? Seriously, all of these variations on on normal normal colors, they don't have a freaking orange. I feel cheated. I there's like yellow. It doesn't. I mean, uh, red. Fine, will be purple. What is my mount? Horse, 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 bear. Oh, but I gotta finish target on island five. More bear, wolf, fox. That's a big fox. Tiger, deer thing. Uh Hello. Oh, boy. All right. So I guess I know what I'm going for eventually. Hunt a bunch of rabbits and you get to ride them. I don't know if it actually makes a difference here. But, uh, well, I guess I'm stuck with horses. I guess I'm going to be on Glow Horse, the, uh, the sun pony. Jesus. That is a, that is a bright mount. And also can't bring a pet with you. What else do we have? Foxes, bears. Uh, well, I can't bring them with me anyway. What about coin? Basic. Star. Heart. And the rest I can't do. Well, going with heart. Bag. Brown. Dark. Dark blue. I, let's go purple to match. Coat of arms. I want more hearts. We are the knight of love. And friendliness. And accepting my fellow man. There it is. And color. Purple. There we go. Select island. Nope. Uh, oh. I guess I can just rotate around. Fine. Hi! These are some things. Difficulty. Normal. Easy. Let's just do normal. Selected island. Survive 10 days. Let's find out how this goes. Oh, they do. Right side shows different stats. I was not paying attention. I was too busy focused on the cosmetics. I was not so focused on the actual gameplay aspect to any of this. I'm just going to scoot this over. All right. Tutorial. Collect coins. Oh. So is it on a... Okay, I can zoom in. Okay, I don't want to hold the A key to skip the tutorial. How do I... Oh. So I can, I can sprint. So ignite fireplace. Hold A to confirm action. I are two vagrants. Press A to drop a coin. I are an archer. Oh, wow. This really is just 3D kingdom. I are a builder. Wow, the prices are the same. They even have rocks and stuff. I mean, I, it, rocks, I guess, aren't exactly... Oh. I don't know who this... red-robed fellow is. I... Damn. Oh, we're probably still following just tutorial stuff, so I can't do anything else. I... Yeah, so this, this is the traitor. Have a coin. Cripes. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm almost offended. <laughs> I'm almost offended. It's like it's not that big of a deal, but it's like everything is the same. K kinda. All right. So we do we do have some vagrants out here. Let's bring him back. 
Let's see, find a demon gate to see if it looks the same. Uh, yeah, we could. We probably... We probably should. Let's see what the enemy monsters look like, too. Where'd my archer go? Is this a, That's the traitor going out. That's... Nope. Oh, no, no. That's my archer. They actually sprint. Okay. That's a major difference. As, uh... As an animation. Wait, is it daytime? It's still daytime. Oh, I see. Just the moment we hit the woods, it becomes dark. Uh, do I have a stamina bar? It does look like I can get my dude all the way out here. On uh, build some walls and stuff. Oh. Well, that's a lot of money. Uh, let's see. And I can press A key to feed mount. Oh. I see. So you can stop to, to eat grass at any point. Uh, well, I've got a stupid amount of money, so we should probably go back and do some things. I don't think this is going to go badly. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I might be able to expand all the way out there, get that wall instead. I'm not actually sure if that's a good idea. It might be worth it. But yeah, so stamina bar is the yellow bar in the middle. So it does look like they they improved a couple of things. Go, okay, go, good. Go. I... <laughs> Did that guy just yell, oh no! I think he did. All right. Let's get some more archers. Do we bother with the tower? I, d I don't know. Can I upgrade the main camp? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Town center is where the monarch founds and manages most of the settlement. So it looks like it's not greed, it's just vagrants. So they're actually adding some extra bits in here. If if they did it well, this could actually be really, really well, well made and interesting. I my inherent worry with with any game like this derivative is it's it's never going to be able to escape its source material. Okay, so we can't upgrade that for now. Day two has come. Now, it looks like we don't go on the boat. We just survive. We don't have any farmers. We do have some axemen. Vagrant, uh, vagrants are still greed. Oh, hi. What's this? Oh, axes. Workshop of axes. Oh, I can rotate the camera. It doesn't really say what axes do. Well, considering we've got a little bit of time, I'm just going to run all the way out here. Uh, it's not even that that far. Oh, I see. So I can I can just rotate the the camera so it's pointed in either direction. Oh yeah, there is also a treasure chest here. That's convenient. Okay, let's take a look at... No, there's just a big old Satan portal out here. I mean, that's a little different from greed. A little bit more heavy-handed, honestly. I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, to destroy it or not. We'll see. But yeah, it would be neat if they actually had like enough uh, enough depth to this. Can I? 
Oh. I can cancel it. That's what that was. But yeah, uh... One complaint I always have have had about the Kingdom games is they tend to be a little bit on the, uh... They tend to be a little bit on the shallow side. The core gameplay loop is fun, but there's not a whole lot you can do after a certain point in it. You know, the, the units can upgrade, but they only upgrade a little bit. Uh, and there's no, like, immediate micromanagement that you can do. And so I'm, I'm already noticing that the, this game's actually particularly verbose. You know, it's like, wall HP is, is blah blah blah. I'm like, that's... That's a nice change of pace. Okay, there we go. I gotta go hire some more archers, though. Yeah, you can destroy the portals eventually, but you haven't gotten that far in Kingdom. Oh yeah, I, I've, I've gotten that far in Kingdom. Shell and I played a boatload of Kingdom 2 crowns. It was a lot of fun, actually. And I'm hoping that they add some more more patches to to get things kind of better. I guess I don't know. It it two crowns had some problems. Okay, Ugh, it even has the banker. Oh, but attack of archers will be increased from one to two. But to unlock this, we have to complete the main task on island one. Yeah, what I'd really like to see in this in this game in these games. There's a lot more micromanagement. Uh, what is this? Workshop for sickles. Spawns a new item. It, but it doesn't actually say what sickles do. Okay, do we have any other vagrants hanging out here? No. Doesn't look like it. So what do we have out this direction? Another homeless camp. Let's see. But yeah, I can see a particularly effective kingdom style game being one with like more character management and like, I'm gonna say design. Like I've always wanted to play one of these games where you can actually uh, micromanage what equipment do they have? Do they have crossbows? Do they have longbows? Do they have short bows? Uh, yeah, it says intended for farmers, but it doesn't exactly say you know, what the exact functionality of how farmers work. It just says, intended for farmers. And obviously, you know, I know mostly how farmers work. But I would like to see... Uh... I would like to see it, like, clearly explained out. Because they have some. Anyway, so, so like, Civilization... Well, like, Civilization had a bunch of different units and stuff that you could actually... Uh, kind of directly... Well, they had different uh, pluses and minuses, and it. it was it was kind of fun deciding, okay, so am I going to be using Longbowmen? Am I going to be using... Uh... Oh jeez, I mean, there's there's a whole host of different thing uh, things and unit types and whatnot, and let's see, is that a vagrant? I'm not actually sure who that man is. Do I have any archers out here? We're gonna need farmers, that's for sure. There's the money. Yeah, let's, let's start getting some sickles. I've got a number of archers picked out, and I'm not entirely sure how hard this game is. It, it could actually be, like, painfully difficult. Also looks like the archers kind of have a good idea of where, uh, where the enemies are coming from. Maybe? Probably. Okay, so let's eat. Oh. Can I not... Why not eat? I also doesn't look like it can pay the uh, pay the trader.
Okay, so I'm gonna get a sickle. I don't know if they'll make the farm automatically, or if it's something I'm gonna have to do... ...on my own. Oh. There was something there. Tower build. Okay. So accuracy of archers on the tower will be increased to 75%. Any basic enemy cannot hit archers from the top. I am really glad that they actually, like, outlined these things. That's kind of neat. Like, I don't know if this is one of those games where it's like... You know, hey, Kingdom did well, let's make our own kingdom. Or, hey, Kingdom did well, but it's missing some things. Uh, let's make it ourselves, but slightly different. Okay, so how'd that wall do? It did all right. Well, I don't know. Base impressions are, are kind of mixed, if only because, like, I want them to do some interesting and unique things. If you're going to clone the design, build on top of it in, in an interesting way. Because I, I, I love Raw Fury. I love Kingdom, but uh, they really haven't actually changed the Kingdom mo model or formula in forever. And, like, oh, what's a good example of, uh, of, like, one of these games with really, like, far deeper mechanics? The problem is I can't immediately think of something, but I, I just want to be able to, like, get into the nitty-gritty more. And most don't. Okay, so we can't upgrade that again. Because, yeah, it doesn't say anything about where to farm. Oh. No. This is where we farm. Those... Those, those scarecrows are absolutely... Absolutely where, where we do our farming. Um... There's a hobo camp out this way. I bet we have a proper farmland area... Within our walls. Off this direction. So I'm probably going to focus on that. I'll just grab the money later. They'll give it to me during the nighttime. Performance is a little... little fiddly. It's very bloomy, too. Can I change that? Doesn't look like it. Oh, wait. Yes, maybe. Let's turn off the bloom and the motion blur. And honestly, HDR and V-Sync. Oh, holy crap. That looks so much better. Now, do I have a woodsman? I don't... I think I bothered to make a single wo woodsman. Cause here we might want to we might want to just start uh, chopping down some of these trees. What if I get money for it? Hopefully. Oh, actually, it looks like I have two woodsmen just wandering around. I don't remember getting one. Oh wait, no, I I bought one a while back. Wait, are they in sync? They are in sync. Oh. Didn't, like, NSYNC recently put out, like, an album or something? I thought I heard some news, like, to the extent of that. Okay, so this actually isn't where we want to do any tree chopping. Here we go. This is what this is what I want to cut down. So it actually looks like I can just cut down trees anywhere. It's, it's not like, um... It's not like Kingdom where it, it limits you. Here it straight up is just like, nope, you can put you can cut down all the trees. Where are these where are these guys going? They just sprint back and forth, I guess. I guess I'll up these walls. Chances are I'm not going to do any more expansion. I wonder if the guy, if my guys will actually climb out, uh, like, climb off of the towers. Or if they'll just stay there forever. Guess we'll find out. We... What would be interesting ways to iterate this? 
I mean, it would be neat if you could actually... Uh... Oh. Yep. Okay, farms are especially important for large settlements because wild animals are difficult to find within settlement borders. Building a farm is a bit of an investment. However, farms will provide a large sum of coins every day. Farms can be built outside the walls of the settlement and will not be attacked by the enemy, but they do not... Crap. Well, that tutorial's gone. Uh, we'll have to clear out another, uh, another one of these. Okay, and it looks like the dude up top is just going to be there forever. I... <laughs> Weirdly enough, with, like, a little bit of performance fixing and, uh, you know, maybe slightly better controls, I'd almost end up recommending this game over Kingdom for people new to, the, to either game, if only because of uh, the convenience... Uh, that these tutorials kind of afford. I love money. What is this? There's something here that I can maybe put money into. I honestly don't know. Let's see. Do you have a codex so you can read a tutorial? Nope. No, uh, no codexes that I can see. Might not be a big deal, but... I guess we should check to see what happens if I destroy a homeless cat camp. Can I... We're just gonna get a bunch of archers. That's just the way of things. Actually, you know what? I could hire more vagrants, but I don't think I need to. Okay, they do not protect the farmers themselves from enemy attacks. Farmer cap 3 yields 3 coins when harvested. Hey, thank you. Let's get two more of those. I think that should be enough. And then mainly I'm just going to hire archers. I don't think we're going to need too much. And I don't think I want to spend like too long on this island. Because if we're trying to get unlocks, we want to... We want to grab as much as possible. Uh, or we want to generally go as fast as possible. If, if possible. Might as well eat. If it lets me. Okay, there we go. Now, do we have... It looks like we can only have three farmers. And then... Locked. Okay, here we go. Okay, they do not protect themselves from enemy attacks. Farmer capacity, three. Yields coins when harvested uh, from three to four. Season bonus. In the evenings, farmers remain on the farm. Required to unlock. Complete the main task on island four. Oof. So we have to do a considerable amount of stuff before we can actually, before we can upgrade these. Well, I guess they really want you for the long haul. That's fine. Have you got any of y'all got money for me? I guess this guy kind of does. Hello. This music reminds me of another game. I'm not sure. It might just be the uh, the beginning of Kingdom. Now that I think about it. So do I have three si three sickles? I bet I have three sickles. Honestly. 
Let's see, do we just buy a boatload of bows? I might as well. We've got a lot of unemployed vagrants, and we we can, or I guess, ex vagrants, so I can send them out to do whatever. And they're just going to execute every single piss. So apparently, critters can climb into uh climb into those and straight up die. Uh, well, no money for me. I do really appreciate that the the archers, uh, sprint. They're not slow. Like, it, it seems like the unit AI might be a little bit more... Maybe not better, but... They actually have some level of, uh, haste. I, I don't know. It always bugged me a little bit in Kingdom. It's just like, you need to go! Like, there's... There's enemies over here, like the walls are falling, and they're like, hmm, good time for a, good time for a stroll. That was just it, I don't know. <laughs> it got obnoxious. Okay, it looks like we've got three farmers going. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I didn't have a lady before this. Ah, oh, sickles have transformative powers. Are these just my banners? Yeah, it just looks like they're my banners. So I can't upgrade the walls. Can I upgrade this? I can, but it's expensive. Let's see, I think there's a chest past the camp on the right. Far side? Uh, I can check. Oh, Blood Moon. Do I upgrade this? Well, they don't have any creepy music. I am disappointed. Oh. Oh shit, but they're coming fast. Now, I'm not actually sure if I'm in any immediate danger myself. Enemy spotted. But, uh... Enemy oh. Down. That sound effect. That sound effect. Thunk. 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 Yeah, they need a little bit of... I'd, honestly, I'd actually prefer it if you could see the, uh, the arcs of the shots. Ow. My walls. Well, we're, we're fine. Uh, let's see. I guess, honestly, let's, let's get our money from, uh... Our money from this guy. And then I'll go check for, uh, for chests. And probably hire as many vagrants as possible, because yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like this is a little bit more com committed to the old, the old style kingdom where surviving past like X day was actually an achievement. Because uh, I remember those blood moons got nasty back in the day. I kind of miss that, to be totally honest. Like, I would. I would have gladly played a, a version of Kingdom, deeper gameplay, and you're just supposed to go as long as you can. I mean, honestly, if you could actually combine Kingdom and, like, Orcs Must Die, I would be a very happy camper. Okay, so we want to look for chests. Supposedly, there's one somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I'm just going to go on recruitment drives for a little while. We might want to extend past and just go pure money, but I I want to be kind of stingy here uh, on expansion. Maybe. I mainly want to be able to recruit as many people as possible. 
Let's... No, we should we should do it. We should knock down that first... That first camp anyway. Yeah, honestly, the more I think about it, the more I'd like to play a game that is straight up just Orcs Must Die plus Kingdom. Just... Put down traps, build some base structures, and, uh... Nope. I really want my horse to eat, but... Maybe I have to have it near, like, a specific structure like this? Ah! I probably have to have it by, like, uh, ferns and stuff. That would do the trick. I kind of wish they'd act actively hand me the money. Instead of running past and being like, Bling! Go! Ah! Okay, so I've got, I've got six unemployed dudes just rolling around town. I don't think I can... Oh, I could. I don't think there's much of a point in upgrading more. So I'll go down to three coins and build a tower here. Because I'm going to want to work on that. Maybe. And then probably go upgrade the other tower as well. No. Nothing? Nothing. Question. Did my other walls get wrecked? No. Looks like people are still running around out here. All right. Yeah, so you you've got to eat near the like weird bushy plants. And that's how this works. Any y'all got money for me? Yeah. Okay. So, it looks like it increases the accuracy from 75 to 80%. Doesn't increase any damage, though, but eh, it's okay. So, yeah, Wander, how are you settling into the new place? It's, it's good. Uh, I have kind of a big office to myself. Uh, and we might switch some of the rooms around. I just, I like the idea of having this one. May maybe, maybe not. I'm, I might move my my setup around. I'm still buying that that super long Ethernet cable, mainly because if I ever have to do anything downstairs, I'm gonna need to be able to plug it in. Ah, uh, it's conversation from God Eater, but I don't know. I really like stupid long Ethernet cables. They make me happy. Uh, let's see. But no, it's it's a nice house. We've got planes that go overhead. That's a bit annoying, uh, but you know the the utility utilities, the uh, the appliances are nice. The carpet is really nice. Somebody had commented on that earlier when I shared shared the picture of it. And yeah, the carpet is comfortable. We we toured a couple of houses and the com the carpets were straight up just like they were rough to the touch. And I had to ask like well. I didn't ask anybody specifically, but I'm just like... You know, walking around on it, mentally I was thinking like, why would you bother having like such a rough carpet? Like... Like, who would want to buy this house or rent this house uh, with this kind of flooring? Give me something that makes me want to like uh, wiggle my toes around. Don't, don't give me, a, like, a crappy carpet. I don't know. Carpets are important to me. I don't, uh... I don't know. I don't like wearing socks. I've got hairy feet. They're not, like, super hobbity. But, like, I've got relatively long hair. Uh, on my toesies. And, yeah, obviously, there are, thing there are steps that I could take to, uh... Are there are definitive steps that I could take to to reduce the impact of socks on my toe hair. Wow, this is a weird weird topic of conversation, honestly. But yeah, the main thing is just like uh, th if I wear socks for longer than like four hours a day, all of my toe toe hair, well, not toe hair. It's it's mainly actually I don't have a whole lot of toe hair now that I'm looking at it. I guess that's all gone. But you know, the rest of the feet, all the hair gets like rearranged. And it hurts. It legitimately hurts. 
You don't mind carpet, but you prefer hardwood or tile. I can't do that. Like I'm saying, like, I go barefoot all the time. Shell did give me some pretty swank slippers, but even then I prefer being barefoot. And so, like, hardwood or tile, oh, the, my feet would be so cold all the time. I, there's no way I could deal with that, personally. Yeah, foot talk with wonder. Take care of your feet. They're important. I've known people that are just like... Uh, going on hikes, for example. Then they just, uh... I shall. Yeah. What is that? Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Carpets make a massive difference in keeping Echo out of your, like, workplace. If you're someone like me. Did you want the rest, or you, no? You're just snagging some for yourself. Shell's stealing my tea. He's a tea thief. A tea leaf. Yeah, you're a sock person. That's why you like hardwood. Yeah. No, I, I've done hardwood. My parents' house is hardwood. But I, I don't know. I just, I don't. I'm not a fan. Okay, we might actually want to expand just so I can. Here, let's let's cut down the uh, the trees around here at the very least. It won't mu muck up the. Uh... It won't muck up the camp, but it will give us a secondary wall that I can pull from. Huh. this music actually isn't kind of terrible. The responsiveness on coin dropping and coin activations is a little odd, though. But I, I appreciate that it's much harder to just accidentally do anything in this game. I, one complaint I always had about Kingdom was just, like, you could accidentally press A and just kill your only hobo camp left. And then you'd really be in trouble. That was never fun. Okay, there we go. Should be cleared out enough. No? Okay. I guess we'll chunk down a couple more trees while we're here. I mean, we might as well. Oh, trees can be cut down by a forester. Trees can only be cut down in a given section if the surrounding sections are completely free from trees. Chopping down trees transforms probably the area into... That's fair. I'm curious. I, I really... I want to get further in this just to see what else they've done. Because so far, yeah, I am seeing just... Just Kingdom. And, like... A little... Like, some unique features. Unit types, maybe. Straight up freaking wizards. Siege engines, actually. Like... I don't know. I, maybe I should play the Stronghold game someday. I don't know if they, they'd be any good, but the idea of... I I like the idea of making a turtly ass base and then just... Uh, you know, developing it forever and making it super, super durable. There's There's a huge appeal for me for that kind of game. I'm gonna grab another hammer here. Let's grab two. And then some more bows. Hmm. I don't think this wall is going to get built before nightfall. Let's see if a builder is stupid enough. Are you a builder? Oh, he is maybe dead? I don't know if the enemies uh, alternate between one side or another. They, I think they do alternate. Alternate. But I don't know. I, I've always been a massive fan of... Of games where you you just build like a giant base. Why can't I develop this? It says nothing. Oh, I see. It's because it's nighttime. It looks like yeah. Hold B to destroy this object. So if you need to, oh crap. Enemy spotted. Attack. Enemy down.
Ha. Huh. So. That's neat. Sort of. I mean, it sucks because they took the wall down. On the other hand, that's kind of neat. If you like setting up complex economies to protect your lands, then Stronghold games are for you. Yeah, I so I, I'm the kind of person that really likes um, admittedly new games, and so whenever I see like an older series that's pretty cool, I'm like, I hope they make a, a new version of that game someday. Uh, just because, and I haven't seen anything about new good Stronghold games. Whereas conversely, uh, I've also been saying that about the uh, Rune Factory games. And what do you know? They're actually coming out with a new Rune Factory uh, game soon. And remastering the previous one. Yeah, they made Stronghold 3 recently. Yeah, relatively recently. I don't think it was when I was a YouTuber or it was like early on. Or the reviews were bad. It's one of those three things. Because if the reviews are bad for a game, I usually usually give it a hard pass. Not necessarily because, like, I might enjoy it, but because people are way less likely to watch it themselves. Um, which sucks for me a little bit. Like, uh, yeah, I'd actually like to play Anthem. Obviously, I've got a couple of uh, issues with playing Anthem. Namely, uh, I'm not set up for it right now. There's some money. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not set up for playing Anthem, admittedly, and, uh, yeah, it got just absolutely slammed in, uh, reviews-wise. And so, yeah, if I did a series on it, most people would be like, meh. And you know what, if I'm particularly bored, uh, I might just do it anyway and just see if I can eke some enjoyment out of it. And, you know, who knows? It might actually be a sweet game. My bet is usually no, though. It is that usually no. We might as well upgrade this real quick. Because I think we're having our next Blood Moon. Thank you, kind sir. Unfortunately, I can't send him back out again, but whatever. We need those archers. You're enjoying Anthem immensely. Huh. Yeah, and who knows? Maybe once I've got my keyboard mouse set up and my backlog built back up. Because being homeless for two weeks was rough for any kind of backlog uh, that I had hoped to have. You know, so many of my, uh, so many of my series effectively had to sit on the wayside while I was gone, or, you know, maybe get an episode here or there and stuff like that. Enemy spotted. And so, uh, Enemy down. Yeah, maybe, but I say that, I don't know, it really depends on how this, uh, how the next couple weeks go. Luckily, it seems like it's a pretty thin march for new releases. Like, I think there's a game called Left Alive that's coming out soon. That I might cover. But from what I've heard, it's also a bit of a... Bleh. So, that makes my life easier. And then there's, like, The Division 2. Which, eh. Any of y'all got, like, a smidge of money for me? All right, victory. Okay, so I don't have to just go for endless, especially with nothing. Yeah, play what you want to, uh, what you enjoy. If the viewers don't enjoy it, so be it. Uh, that kind of works. The main problem is it's just, uh, okay, so I can continue if I wanted to, but I don't. Because I want to unlock some new things. So completing tasks in a campaign unlocks these rewards. Oh, hey! 
Uh, let's see. So, first one is Stone Shrine. Second one is All Horses Speed Up. And Wall Torch is Detecting Coming Enemy Waveside. Oh. Then Triplet Tower, Improved Farm, and then Mounts. Really? Those are the only things I unlock. All right. 